Uh, and said that the Egyptians were living on only 5% of uh, uh, in a uh, in uh, a capital which is densely populated. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phono with Her Excellency Ambassador Wafa Basim, former Assistant uh, Foreign Minister. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, uh, Your Excellency, uh, uh, now uh, the President uh, uh, have uh, made uh, uh, during the uh, conference an analyst, analyst response or uh, uh, an interview uh, during which the President uh, presented Egypt's uh, developmental uh, model uh, in several uh, fields like the infrastructure, health, education, uh, sustainable development uh, and social development. Uh, what's your comment on this, please? Um, being um, a guest of honor in this 10th uh, 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 edition of the World Government Summit, um, President El Sisi had to present uh, the uh, pioneer um, experience of Egypt and the model that it had presented to the world in uh, development. Um, when we think uh, at, about the conditions where President ACC has um, attained power uh, or authority in Egypt, we find that uh, the country was uh, in a very, very difficult situation. Um, the many things have been uh, destroyed. There was um, a lot of uh, political upheaval after uh, one year uh, of um, governance uh, by the Muslim Brotherhood, which uh, led to the um, fracture of the country, it led to uh, the negligence of services, of the welfare of the population, and uh, to many, many other things that uh, most of people know about. Yes. So, uh, he, ha he had to um, concentrate uh, when he came uh, to power. He had to concentrate on three main areas. Uh, the political one, and it was to regroup the Egyptian people around one uh, target, one aim, is to rebuild the country and uh, to create a new model of development that would go in depth uh, to the country to prepare it and to pave the way for the future by um, creating a, um, a good infrastructure. Because this is the way you can attract investments, whether internal investments or uh, foreign investments, to come to the country. Also, there was, so you had, he built and he instructed the building of a, a strong network of roads, uh, an important uh, new housing, new 25 cities around the country, and the building of the new administrative uh, capital, as Cairo, uh, the known Cairo, cannot anymore cope with the demand of such a modern state that in the way of development. The second thing was, of course, the job creation for thousands and millions of young people that were um, there waiting to attack the future and build their own um, uh, dreams and to realize their own dreams. There was also the issue of uh, agriculture where the aim was to um, reform uh, the land and to increase through technology the um, production of the actual land that we have. The third thing, of course, was to regain the security and to establish the stability in the country, and that was through um, addressing the rule of law and making it the most important part and, of course, there was combating terrorism. So, in his presentation today, uh, President Mubarak has explained 
the challenges the country was facing, still facing, uh, what were the steps that were followed, the different initiatives in different um, um, fields, like we have the initiative concerning empowering women, like we had the strategy of Egypt 2030 that encompassing the different fields. Um, there was the initiative, of course, of Haya Karima, which is the prosperous life and which is a model that many countries are hailing now and are saluting because it takes into account the needs uh, of the people and, of course, the social dimension of any development through um, um, creating uh, the uh, institutions and the basis that allows uh, people to live a decent life whether as far as housing, health, um, uh, education, and so on and so forth. Of course, he stressed also the importance of regional cooperation uh, and the role that our Arab brothers have played in this. And he also stressed the importance of international cooperation in facing different kinds of challenges whether combating terrorists, whether uh, uh, combating other organized crimes, helping in attracting investments, and also the, the time where we face two international challenges that nobody has escaped from, which is COVID-19 um, and, of course, the impact of the war in Ukraine. Yes, uh, so Your Excellency Ambassador uh, uh, Basim, uh, uh, also uh, the President uh, uh, was uh, uh, delivering uh, the, uh, uh, his words uh, uh, in front of uh, the gathering or the attendees of 20 heads of state and governments, uh, uh, more uh, than 250 ministers, uh, 10,000 government officials, as well as global uh, uh, thought leaders and international experts. So mm -hmm. after the, pre the president uh, presented this uh, 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 developmental uh, model of uh, Egypt, what is the message that the president is conveying behind all this presentation? Well, the, the message is quite clear. We are uh, here uh, in this World Government Summit, um, heads of state, heads of government, uh, um, uh, uh, different uh, ministers, uh, decision makers, experts, private sector, scientists, um, representatives of international organizations, and uh, World Bank, IMF, uh, financial, important financial institutions, banks, um, all what you would think about in front of those, we are, um, as you said, almost 250 uh, 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 speakers. We had 300, we have, we're going to have 300 sessions, 80 bilateral agreements and high-level meetings are going to take place and the government delegations. Uh, during that time, and you can see the impact of such a message, the message was we are not here just to deliver statements. We are here to discuss, to, uh, to uh, establish dialogue, to see together how we can face the challenges and the threats that are facing our regions are our, and our countries. So we can get uh, out of this major or mega event how we can get plans that can be applicable and tailored to the conditions of each country, but under a general mood, a general principle. If we look at the themes of the agenda, we will find that there are six major axes 
or six major uh, ideas, framework, uh, themes. First, accelerating development and government, future of societies and health care, exploring frontiers, governing economic resilience and connectivity, global city design and sustainability, prioritize give priority to learning and work. All these are issues that of all concern to every country, whether it is um, an advanced country and a, a country um, developing promising economy or country that underdeveloped and needs to get to the surface so it can have, um, it can have a future and um, um, see uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, uh, I thank you very much, Your Excellency, Ambassador Wafa uh, Basim, former assistant uh, foreign minister, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. I really had the, the pleasure to have this uh, phone with you. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you. Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets with world leaders. Reaffirming Egypt's vision, delivering our voice abroad. لتطوير التعاون الثنائي الاقتصادي والعسكري إلى مستويات غير مسبوقة. Discussing regional and international developments.